<laughs> Don't, do not expect to make a living as an artist, for sure. You should think of this time as an opportunity to make those around you aware of your talent by giving yourself for free of charge, if that's what it takes, to as many people as possible. Careers are made by surrounding yourself with an ever-expanding group of people who believe in your talents. The smart person takes advantage of any opportunity that comes their way, even if they don't get paid. Uh, because you never know where that connection might take you in the future. In my situation, all the short films I scored when I was at UCLA, not a single one of those directors went on to direct features, but they did go on to work in movies and other capacities and were constantly recommending me for gigs. Thank you, my friends. Uh, as a matter of fact, I can trace the first 15 movies of my career to some connection I made as a student. Don't make the mistake of not being willing to take a job that has nothing to do with your field or a job in your field that isn't the specific type of work you want to do. Don't worry, this won't worry, ruin your image because as my ex-agent my ex -agent said, um, when you're first starting out, you, you have no image to ruin yet. You know? <laughs> the only reason to say no to a job is if you have a better offer. Okay, I've seen a, a lot of really talented people give up way too soon because they have an unrealistic timetable for the success. With a five-year plan, you just survive your first year and then don't even consider asking yourself if you may have made a mistake pursuing your dream for at least five years. I beg all the young composers I meet and teach at USC to call me if they're about to quit so that I can tackle them on their way to the airport. <laughs> you never know at what age you're going to make your mark. Even in my field, some of the most recent Academy Award winning composers didn't even start working in the business until they were in their 40s. Longevity really is what a career is all about. It's not winning an Oscar, an Emmy, a Tony, or a Grammy. It's all about being in demand for as long as you want to work. When you leave this university, you will notice that some of your peers will seem to do much better than you right out of the gate. If you're anything like me, you're going to envy the hell out of them. But don't let that envy freeze you up because you never know where that very same person is going to be later on down the line. Shooting stars fizzle out quickly. Everyone has good times and bad times. As a matter of fact, it is said that successful careers are nothing more than a series of comebacks. Now, before I leave today, I'm going to tell you this quick story about my early years, only because I'm hoping that by hearing about some of my obstacles, it will